The new iPhone 11 and Pixel 4 are right around the corner. So today in this video, I'm going over how you can sell your old iPhone or Android device on Swappa to get extra cash to put towards your brand new device. Swappa is a website for both buying and selling gently used electronics. I've used it personally to both buy and sell phones. In fact, I purchased this iPhone SE on Swappa a few years ago. I really like it because I think it provides a really great buyer and seller experience, and it also has lower fees than eBay. So in this video, this is going to be how you can sell your phone on Swappa, what the entire process is like from creating your listing to taking photos to shipping the phone out to the buyer. This is everything you need to know and how you can get some extra cash for your old device to put towards your new one. For those of you who may be unfamiliar, Swappa is an online marketplace where you can buy and sell newish tech. So this is where people are selling some of their older, gently used electronics. This includes iPhones, Android phones, laptops, tablets, cameras, and smartwatches. Um, and this is a really great place not only to sell your gently used phones, but also to purchase phones. You get some great deals here. Uh, iPhone 7 starting at $165. iPhone 6S going for $95. Just for fun, let's type in the iPhone 10. See what this is going for. You can see on the major network starting at 465. That's the lowest from Sprint. I always recommend purchasing unlocked so we can see what these are going for. And here you can see the listings for the iPhone 10. Uh, you can see 554 for this fair one. These are sorted by sponsored posts first. That's what the little orange star means. And if we go down here, we can sort by price lowest just to get an idea of what uh, what these are going for here. So we get our sponsored posts up top. These are starting at 554 for the iPhone 10. Uh, and scrolling down, we have Gilbert here selling his iPhone 10 starting at $510. You do get regular old people like Gilbert. You also get some more um, online resellers such as Gadget. These accounts just do significantly more sales, uh, but they can still be pretty good options to consider. To give you an idea of what a listing looks like, let's take a look at what Gilbert has here. He's selling his Apple iPhone 10, uh, and you can see different photos here. What I love about Swappa is you can see here, there's actually a listing code in this photo, and that matches the listing code right here. So you know Gilbert had to have taken that photo on the day or after the date he created this listing. So that's how you know these photos are current and accurate. What you see will be the condition your phone comes in. You can get more information. Um, you can see this was listed August 30th, uh, which is just two days ago. You can see how many people are viewing it. And at the bottom, you get comments. And this is kind of where you can negotiate with the seller if you want to try and get a lower price. Um, and the seller can either agree or disagree. What I love about Swappa from a buyer's perspective is what you see is what you pay. So if I were to purchase this device right now, I would pay $510. Gilbert is selling his uh, gently used iPhone 10. If he were to go and try and sell this on, let's say, a website like Gazelle, he's getting $416. That's significantly less. If we go to another site here, Declutter, $456. Also, Apple Trade-In, you only get $400. That's why Swappa can be compelling. You spend a little bit of time, you take some photos of your device, and you can sell it for a higher price. So let's dive in how you can sell your phone on Swappa and get the most value to put it towards your new device. Swappa has a great article on how to list your device. I'll leave this linked in the video description. Basically, you start by searching for your product, you create your listing, and then you get paid. What I do love about Swappa is when your item sells, you are paid instantly via PayPal, no waiting, you will have payment before you ship. I love that. Then you simply ship your device to the buyer. Uh, PayPal is what they use for all their transactions. And you get a special listing page where you can communicate directly with the buyer and you can also have Swappa staff step in if you need. Swappa does have uh, fixed fees. It looks like the buyer pays a small sale fee. If we click on this here, it will bring us to a page where you can kind of see what the price is and what the fee will be and how it compares with eBay's fees. Um, and as you can tell by this chart, it is significantly less. So let's dive in and create our listing. I'm selling a OnePlus 7 Pro, so I'm gonna click on that. Here we are, I purchased the unlocked model. 
and I'm gonna click sell phone right on the page right here. Uh, so it's gonna be unlocked, boom, sell on Swappa. The phone is fully functional and I have to accept Swappa's terms of use, which I do. So I'm gonna click sell on Swappa. Here we get to fill in our listing. As a pro tip, I like to have the current listings up for the phone I'm selling so I can get an idea of price and what other people are putting in their headlines and descriptions. Uh, for context, if you scroll down on your listing, you get to create a headline, which is a short description of what you're selling. That is this light gray text right here. And then you get to create a description. And if you click on an actual listing, this is what is shown um, right here. So this is the description. So once you have everything filled out on your listing, including your carrier color, storage memory, price, condition, damage description if applicable, device ESN, your shipping zip code and express shipping price if applicable, your headline and your description, you can click publish. Our listing is now created and we got our listing code. This is the code you need to write down on a piece of paper and include in the photos you capture of your phone. We're in the studio now. I'm getting ready to take some photos of the OnePlus 7 Pro I'm about to list on Swappa. And I have some tips for you to get the best images possible. Tip number one is to use the best camera you have. This will help your images look sharp and crisp and make the phone look the best possible. You can use your cell phone if you like, but I do think using a nicer camera can have a huge impact. The second tip I have for you is to use a clean background. Here, you can see I'm fortunate enough to have my desk space. It's pretty clean. I've seen some people use a blank white sheet of paper, so you can consider that as well. The third tip I have for you is to make sure you thoroughly clean your screen and device with a microfiber cloth. You can see here a before and after uh, before cleaning with the microfiber and after cleaning really makes a huge difference. Fourth tip I have for you is to write your number on an index card and then fold it so you can prop it up and put it in the background of your images. And you can try and prop your device up using something heavy. Oh, and the last tip here is to use good lighting. I'm fortunate enough to have studio lights, but you can use something like a desk lamp, angle it on the device, uh, really help show what kind of condition it's in. So there you go. Those are some tips as you're getting ready to photograph your device for your Swappa listing. Make sure to capture it from all sides and angles. Keep that Swappa listing code in the background. Um, and I like to do one pan down shot with all the included accessories as well. Once you're done photographing your device, now's a great time to reset it to factory settings and erase all information uh, that you currently have on the device. Of course, make sure it's backed up so you don't lose anything. Uh, by now you may even already have your new phone and you can transfer your information to that. I'm done with this phone, so I'm gonna go into settings and reset it. To reset your phone, you can go into settings, scroll down to system, scroll down to um, factory reset options, and here we have erase all data factory reset. Um, so I'm going to reset system data and optional erase internal storage. You want to make sure that is checked. This will erase everything, make this phone as if it's brand new um, and ready for the next user. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to upload the photos we just took. I think they came out pretty well. Um, and we should be all set to get our listing up and running on Swap. We now have our photos, so we are ready to upload them. I'm just gonna select all of the different images I have, click open, and Swappa is gonna upload them to the site. I made sure when I exported them from Lightroom, they were in a smaller file size, so they are all ready to go. Um, and we can see them here. Looks like we got everything. We got um, our main photo that shows our listing number and the screen on. Uh, we have the back of the phone. I took a picture of the cameras. Uh, I was just highlighting some scratches that were in the screen protector of the phone. I value highlighting the honest current cosmetic condition of the device, and I think that can be helpful for viewers. This just kind of shows uh, that it's not visible when you are using the phone um, and everything that is included. And then I got all the different sides. Some of these honestly could have been a little sharper. That's okay. It looks pretty good to me and I think we're ready. So now we can click view listing and the next step is to get this listing approved. So it says 
pending approval. We're waiting for a swap, a staff member to come view the listing, make sure we have the required images, and then we should be all set. Okay, and just a few minutes later, our listing is approved. We can see our buy now button, add to cart. We can view the images, uh, see more information, the description I wrote, shipping and handling, um, and comments that can be posted on the listing. You can also see a little button, swap, I need help, checking this box and posting a comment. Uh, is what will cause the SWAPA staff to be notified. And they can help you either with the sale or when you are doing uh, the shipping part of this process. Up top, we have a few different options. We can upgrade to featured. This puts the listing at the top of the list um, and it's $5. You can extend the listing. Right now it is set to expire seven days from now, September 8th. You can share it and you can of course upload additional photos and edit the listing. Now that our listing is created, I'm gonna check back in once it's sold and show you what that process is like. Okay, my listing just sold on Swappa. You can see the OnePlus 7 Pro moved from active listings down here to active sales. And something interesting actually happened with this sale. So I click on it and I can immediately see the sale page. This is the dedicated page you get. Up top, I can see all the information about the sale, including uh, the list price, $5.99, the swap of fee, $20, the total amount. I can see my profile, the buyer's profile, um, the item that was sold and the serial number. And if I scroll down, uh, you can see the payment. So payment is instant. I was immediately paid on PayPal. What makes this example so great is here we have a direct area of communication between me and the buyer. The buyer actually wanted to change his shipping address or their shipping address. So he uh, reached out to Swappa support um, and boom, we have John L. Swappa staff making a comment going over how to change the shipping address. You can see how beneficial it is having a direct line of communication with the buyer, Swappa staff, um, and everything else. And this really helps the transaction go smoothly. And boom, just to show you in PayPal, you can see the recent activity. I did receive that payment of 581.33. Okay, I have issued the refund. I'm waiting for the seller to repurchase the device with their updated PayPal address. Um, and then I'll be able to ship it. Okay, I have the phone all boxed up. It's in its original packaging in the original container it came in. Um, and I like to actually write a handwritten note to include with my package, uh, just something nice and friendly for the person who bought it. With the buyer's new confirmed shipping address and the phone all packaged up, I was able to head to my local USPS store and mail the package. I was then able to take the tracking number and insert it into the listing on Swappa and call it a day. In a few days, the buyer received the package and then was able to give me a rating on Swappa and that was it. So there you go. That is how you sell your old device on Swappa for cash. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Click here to subscribe. Here are related videos and consider checking out my website, bestphoneplans.net to easily compare cell phone plans, prices, and features. I'm Stetson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.